Oh, here. Uh, I call this meeting of Ohio K Fiscal Court to order. Uh, on this 12th day of March 2019 at 5 p.m., uh, first thing I want to do is I want to ask Brother Sonny White if he would come forward uh, and lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. I count this uh, an honor to be present with you in this uh, physical court meeting tonight. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Jesus said, when you pray, pray our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, Almighty God, for all the blessings of life that you've given us throughout the years of our life and our country. I pray, dear Lord, thy blessings upon this great country of ours, upon the people, O Lord, that have been elected to serve. I pray, Lord, that you would bless them in all the activities of their life. I pray, Lord, that you would uh, bless Judge Johnson. I pray, Lord, that you would bless the magistrates today and the districts that they serve. We know that this is a big responsibility, but we thank you, Lord, for these good people that serve there. I pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Lord, that they might serve their district and people better. And I know, Lord, that they need to be led by your Spirit. And therefore, we come here tonight and pray for them and all the duties that they do. We give you praise and honor and glory in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, we'll do the flag. We pledge to allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Brother Sonny. Thank you. And if any of you don't know, Brother Sonny is, uh, Whiteley is with the uh, Horse Branch Church of God. And uh, I don't know whether he wants me to tell this or not, but he's Renetta's uncle, and he's uh, Larry Morphew's pastor. So he, he, He's got his work cut out for him on Larry. Yeah, you can say that, yes. <laughs> uh, before you, you have the February the 12th be, uh, minutes. I, uh -huh. uh, uh, I would like to have a motion to approve that. Make a motion. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any questions, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Uh, motion carries. Before you... You have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list. Uh, I'd like a motion to approve those. Who's your late list? Or ours? We're going to also move uh, second for discussion. Need a second for discussion. Okay. Do we have a move? Motion and second? I'll make a motion when said. Okay. Okay, you I got a, Sam Small and uh, Larry Cam. I got a question. Yep. On the first page, insure, outsure fuel into supplies, and then down below it it says insure fuel or supplies from fuel. What? Uh, well, you took 5,500 out of fuel and put 3,000 into law enforcement supplies on, on the next page. 2500 into office supplies. Okay. Any other discussion? 
and take something else like that. Any further discussion? Be it roll call vote to Miranda. Johnson? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Sorry. Barnes? Yes. Motion carries. Um, this next one's a rough one. Tre Treasurer's February financial statement. We need to uh, acknowledge that she gave it to us. Make a motion we acknowledge it. Sam Small made a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second all over the place. Pick the one you want. No, I have to say it for the record. Uh, uh, Joe Barnes is. Uh, for a second. Okay. Uh, is there any discussion or questions for Ann? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. You have the we did have the clerks. We have the clerks February report as well. Motion to acknowledge. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion on the uh Clark's financial report. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Next, Jimmy Duke, come tell us uh, about the Amnesty Street Mount. Well, thank you, Judge. Appreciate the court letting me come down here today. I'll try to make it brief. Uh, we've got this year, uh, the, the good news is, is you guys are going to, over the next foreseeable future, get to reap the benefits of the good ambulance boxes that you bought over the last 15 years. These boxes are, are holding up great. They're going to continue to either be repowered or remounted for the foreseeable future. I, I couldn't even tell you at what point we are going to need to replace an ambulance because I don't, I don't see it on my, my future list anywhere. What we've got, though, is ambulances that over time need to be either remounted or repowered. This year, we've got a, a 2006 ambulance that, to, to kind of give you the success story of what you all have done in the past, we bought that unit in 2006 new. In 2013, we repowered it, spent roughly $45,000 on it, run it another 150,000 miles, and now we're at a point where we need to remount it. The box, still in good shape. If we remount this truck, we could should very easily be able to get another hundred and 80,000 out of the remount and possibly at that point if the box is still in good shape do another repower So, you know, we're looking at getting somewhere around seven eight hundred thousand miles out of a box Obviously the chassis don't hold up that long. This chassis got 329,000 miles on it uh, We repowered it at hundred ninety three thousand just to give you guys just a little bit of an idea of the money that we try to spend to keep these trucks in good shape in the last three years, we've spent 21000 in maintenance on that truck. And over the life of the truck, we've spent 52900 not including the, the price of the, re, of the repower that was done in 2013. So what I'd like to ask you all, if you would please, would be to advertise for bids to see what it was going to cost us to remount that truck on a new chassis sometime this spring. I'm a little concerned, and that at this point, I don't know that we can get it done by the end of the fiscal year. So That's okay. I just want to put that out there and make sure y'all are aware of it. I'm, I'm not sure it can happen that quick. But if we could get some bids in, we'll, we'll get out there and reach out to the better vendors that do that. I'm expecting that's going to run somewhere between eighty two and 90000 A new truck's about 125 to 130 Yeah. Is that uh, a trip that's coming out from underneath it? Is it one of the actual trucks or is it the E? That's a good question because it's a, it's a van, unfortunately. Okay. Whenever we get around to remount those trucks, those truck chassis are going to have a value, whereas yeah. these van chassis, they're, uh, they're surplusing it or, or salvaging it at the remount facility because they really don't have a whole lot of value. Yeah. But when we start to remount the, the pickup trucks, they'll have a value to the court. We'll want to bring them back 
and then you all could decide what you want to do with them. They won't put a snow plow on them. I know what they are. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, they might be, if it was the trucks and the diesel engine, you might be able to sell it and get the I think the whole chassis will be have some value to yeah. it. Um, I mean, I would think it would. It's, it's going to be an Eve uh, or an F450 chassis right. with a... Uh, you know, it'll be a high mile of chassis, but I can assure you, I can show you the maintenance records. They've been taken good care of. Right. That, that E-Series, one. The, yeah. the, this one's coming out from me. Is it gas or diesel? It's a diesel. The engine, uh, and Larry will remember this. I don't know <laughs> that I want to remind him, but I'm going to. When we repowered that, Larry said, let's not replace the, because we just went through the top end of the motor. He said, let's not replace that bottom end, and if it ever goes out, come back to us and we'll talk. Well, guess what, Larry? You's right. That That's, truck's lasted. That bottom end of that engine's got 329,000 miles on yeah. it, so we never had to replace it. Yeah. I don't want to get in the habit of not replacing the engines on repower, and, but this one worked out well. And what you want to do is not get in the habit of thinking I'm right either, because I'm not <laughs> always right. Hey, so. Well, I bet you didn't remember that, but I remembered us having that conversation, and we decided then to, yeah. to, to gamble yeah. a little yeah. bit, yeah. and it worked out. Even Ann's clock is right twice a day. Yeah. I would move to advertise, Judge. Okay, I have a motion. Second. Second by Larry. Larry and Larry. You got it? Uh, but, Jimmy, I did want to say uh, I like, uh, I think a lot of your foresight that you've used over the years by this rebooting because it does save us $40,000, $50,000 every time we do this. So well, I work with it saves the governments court. all the time. They're in positions where they're having to buy ambulances almost every year. And, and they say, I don't know how you all afford to buy those brown boxes. I say, guys, you can't afford not to. Yeah. I can show you that it's saving you money, yeah. not costing you money. But it takes a while. You have to get through that initial, it's and expense. you guys have gotten through it, you know. Yeah. Med 3 is our oldest brawn box, and it's an 06, so they're doing great. Yeah, it's a, yeah, we're, we're doing doing great with them. Uh, can you give Miranda enough of the specs for the advertisement, then we'll say see you for the real detailed specs? I can get her you tomorrow, Miranda, and get you yeah. what I, I would assume you would need to For that. that. You can shoot it in an email or call, I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. And, uh, sorry. No, you don't go ahead and I was just going to ask also while we're at it, why not be a bad time to go ahead and advertise for bids for the service for next year and just get that done early? Okay. Do you need it done early or can you wait till yeah. I'll do the rest anytime. of the annual bids? Okay. Okay. Do we'll, we'll look into that. All, okay. all in favor say aye. 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 Polls like sign. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. He's a sharp young man, isn't he? He knows. Uh, boxes is still it's, it's paid off. Resolution it's paid off. to be holding it. <coughs> On the discretionary plan. Okay. Uh, I need a motion to accept this money, three hundred and eight. Uh, how many dollars it is? Oh, let's go ahead and say it. What is it there? Second page. Yeah, the bottom. I'll make a motion because two of them's in my district. Okay, three hundred forty-eight thousand. Okay, uh, motion by Larry Morphew. Yeah, I guess I'll second. second. One of the roads is in my district. And they can pay us money. Okay. And keep in mind, you are yours is already approved and on the way. I'll repeat. So, uh, any discussion? Being none. Oh, this also authorizes me to sign this this document. So, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Let me sign them right now. I got to sign both of them. Where? No, I don't think you turn the page. Oh, Here it is. I'd like to be more. Here it is. I found it. <laughs> and let's get it back to them tomorrow. You can date them for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now, Pence is coming down. I'm going to talk to him. Okay, I'm, I'm going to grad in the morning. I'll be here with Donnie and take care of him. 1 or 1 15. <laughs> Don't you agree to that? Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Keith's picking me up at uh, 1 30. Here's the best Ralph thing. Do well, I need to sign that? beat up yeah. for wearing them hats, Larry. You know? Hey, that one guy. Next morning, you know how they ever know that. Thursday night they have the drinks. Okay, uh, Miranda, where's the bid on the truck the for the. Spray truck. He got pretty bad. Yo, you, know, oh, you want to open that? Any of y'all want to go stand behind him while he opens it? I wasn't. Uh, so, I wasn't drinking, but I got Maldi back with me. 
to the pastor. Yeah. Said, yeah. They got him, took him out. And they come the next morning and apologize. Said that he's saved. And said they don't know why they were saved. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why they was with him. Okay, read what you got. Got a quote from the Kingful Containers. Seems to be we just got one. Yes. And they only just one vendor sent, just one. Yes. Okay. I thought I could give a copy of these to Ann. I thought I heard a good one. Good glasses. Truck and sprayer system. $125,724.17. That's the combined. Thanks, Renata. And does that meet our budget, Ann? I know, but that's what we said before we was going to do, though. We've already said to borrow the money. How, do they say how long it take to get it, Joe? <coughs> no, well, I don't know this. I think you have to go get it in Florida, don't you, Pete? As soon as they can get down there, somebody, as soon as somebody will drive him down there. You mean it? Or somebody drive you down there and it's get It's not it. in Florida, is it? Yeah. Seriously? When can you go without when me can, for a week? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you're not going, Miranda. I can go if it needs You want to take Larry and let him drive it back because Keith's really busy. Now, how many days have we got to stay down there? Do you One. Oh. One night. Is it near, near the beach? No? Well, there you go. Yeah. Okay, we'll do all that. Did we vote on that yet? You made a valid point. Jason's already in. Okay. Uh, did you make the motion yet? To go, go ahead, Joe. I make a motion that we purchase the... Uh... Hey, wait a minute. Before I make that motion. The state contract price. Yes. Same price. Okay. I make a motion we go ahead and purchase the uh, spray truck for... One twenty-five. One twenty-five, seven twenty-four, and seventeen cents. Okay, he'll give it back to you, and you can write down all the money. I'll second it. It needs to be out on the road next week. Okay. It, 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 are y'all serious about it? The bid from Florida. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Been doing it. We got left. How long? I know that y'all got work to do here. Work. Uh, oh, hey, uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Pose like sign. We just bought a truck. Uh, Keith, how many people do you have that can uh, that's certified? Three, I believe. Three. Um, this closed session that's on your agenda, we're going to skip that because the guest speaker we had to come into that is not here. Well, uh, I Thank think you. I think uh, Judge, that good. Okay. No, we're good. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, give me those hirings that we're going to do. First, no stuff. Yeah, get that back from here. Oh, we got two or three of them? Two? No. They, they didn't come. Uh, okay. We have, uh, we want to hire as a Seasonal groundsman at the golf course, David Coleman, at a rate of eight sixty-eight an hour. So I submit that name, Euroka. This is the one, just the same one that's in the, the budget. No additional. No. Johnson. Yes. Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Barn. Yes. How many hours is that? Uh, now he could be up to, depending on how much you need him. Up to 40 hours a week, but it's only for the season. Start date of 317, which is next Sunday. Okay, we have another one here. Uh, courthouse maintenance, coast custodian, Terry Bard, that's T E R R I B B Baird, B A I R D, at a rate of 990. Also starting on 3, uh, 17, 19. Uh, this is a, uh, it's just a uh, part-time position. It's not seasonal or anything. So, I submit that name. Roll call it. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. 
small yes. barn? Yes. Judge. Yes. How many hours a week is that? Tw it can be up to 22, but it's more like 15 to 20. Um, okay, uh, give me the uh, his surplus list. Yeah. Uh, Keith's taking advantage of me. I asked him to scrunch his stuff up in the smaller area, and so to do so, he's getting rid of stuff. He told Bo to come get his grader that he's keeping for him, and then he wants to get rid of these following trucks. Uh, he wants to get rid of a. Where's it say what it is? It doesn't. Uh oh. That's all I got. We don't have a script to know. No, it should. It should have a brand name and a. It's the international. It's a seventy-eight international tandem tank truck up on top of the hill. Can you get that? Yeah. Okay, uh, but don't have the VIN number here with it. That needs to be added in the tag. I can get those. Um, just keep going through and get them and tell you what they are. Okay. And also, a, uh, a uh, it's pretty good. It should bring some pretty good money. We've got a, dis a uh, old distributor that came from Davis County stuff. It's an older model. So, and it's a, what model Ford is it? It's 19, no, it's not 78. It's drills wrong. Thanks, 77. That's the newest it could be with that grill. 1977 Ford Oil Distributor. And then we've got a chip and seal, a chip and seal machine. And uh, I'm instructing, we're going to put a reserve on this. Y'all can talk about it with chip and seal machine. So I want to declare those three things surplus or keep does. And he'll sell them on uh, government deals. Uh, is the y'all are selling the one that we? Oh, one more. The one we give to us, and not the one that we spent. No, no. But all of this, but it was as good as the one that we spent on. Oh yeah. Well, that that was kind of my question. Was that uh, I know the one that we spent the money on, we had so much trouble with it. We sent it back and had to end up using the old one. You know, of course, since we've got a new one. It, you know, we. And and we have a trailer from the uh, that you haul backhoe and stuff on, but it hooks on a pedal hitch behind the dump truck. Mm -hmm. and it hasn't been used since Keith has been there. And it's a Litchfield brand. Let me see that. Uh, Keith, can you foresee in the future where we buy a little old track hole, real small one? Uh, would that trailer not suffice to haul it? I just don't want to get rid of anything that we might yeah. utilize later. You're right. And I'd like to see one of them little backhoes instead of running our yeah. our backhoes all over the country. Uh, you could just load it up and go put a tile in and it'd be a lot more efficient and a lot, lot less you, costly. You did a lot of ditching and you wouldn't can, have to have a truck. Can you, yep. put a pen, can you put a panel hitch on like the your one of your big uh, tractors? I'm, I'm talking about your road tractors. Okay, so you wouldn't have to pull them out a dump truck. You could. You pull them pickup too. That one had sat beside the salt house for I don't know how many years. It's going to take some work on it to get it road worthy. If we did buy a, buy one of those smaller excavators, well then uh, you can pull like behind one of your pickups. Yeah, yeah that three quarter ton. Yeah. Well, so. well, three quarter can't even pull that trailer. That trailer was no, no, not that trailer, no. But I'm uh, talking about a. Uh, if I had one, it would be nice. If it was like Charlie's, his trailer or something. Yeah. With the and, you know. Yeah. And, and if you want to have some input on that reserve on a chip and melt cell machine, I think ten thousand. Does any of y'all think differently on that? Well, I thought we were talking about the one that we spent so much money on, but uh, let's. Uh, I don't have a problem with that, but you can see what. Maybe we ought to hold off Judge on the reserve and see what kind of monies we get out of it and then make a decision after that. Yeah, we had to vote to sell it anyway. Yeah. So. 
Can we just leave the reserve off and see what it does? And then we can reject it or accept it either one. I don't think so on good deals. I, I think what tonight. Put it on there. You can, you can re well, no, I think you, I think you can reject whatever. That's what I need to know, and I don't. I don't know if you can if you can reject the uh, if you don't put absolute on it or whatever. You know. Well, we'll tell him to okay. see what get and let me know because I, I sure don't need to go cheap because it's a good good it's, machine, worth a lot of money. No, it's it's been there when the only one we got a lot more money and failed so. We'll see about it. Yeah. Do I have a vote to go ahead and declare all the? I mean, a motion to declare all these items surplus? Yeah. And make a motion. Joe, and I'll say. Motion by Joe Barnes, second by Larry Cam. Declare those, the items mentioned, which will be entered into the, attached to the minutes, as surplus. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Like sign? Motion carried. Okay, um, we're going to go to uh, committee reports, and uh, I'm going to ask Larry, uh, since he's the chairman of the uh, road committee, he had a thought and would make a motion from that. I would have him do this that this time instead of under his uh, master time. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh, uh, this motion of yes. uh, David. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to entertain a motion, uh, gentlemen, that uh, and the motion would uh, read as I would move that starting March the 13th, which is tomorrow, barring any emergency or incre increment weather, the pothole patcher at the road department shall be used every day, including Saturdays, until we make a complete check of all the roads in the county. Also, a, da a daily report of the hours and which roads were completed and a copy given to the court members at our next stated meeting, April the 9th. And if I can get a second, we can vote. I'll second. Is there further discussion? Is it just one, just one of the pot oak patches? No, both of them. Both when they're running. Both when they're running. Uh, here, uh, Miranda, this will be a lot easier for you. And put both pothole patchers if they're running. And I, the reason I said inc inclement weather because you know when it rains you can't do it. But the Keith, I'd like to run over every row, even if they don't. They need to be looked at and see if there's any uh, necessary potholes. Course, needed. It'll still be Keith call if it's fit, and we do want a pothole patch any day that possibly can. Yeah. But to be his call, there's no need squirting it in a hole and letting it run out. That's right. And when it's wet, I understand you can't do that, and that's the reason the weather was put in there. So. Keith, there's some roads that we might need to look at about putting some dense grade in it. Because, you know, some of them got pretty bad that they could put a whole truck in one hole. And, you know, it's it's yeah. too much wasted time. That's when you need the chip spreader. Yeah. You know, fill it with dense grade, and we can get them back after it's settled. Yeah, what he's saying is spread it in there with that chip and sell machine. Maybe, maybe the other one, maybe not the one we. I thought maybe talk about the tailgate spreader. Keith, I wish there was some way, and I, I really don't know how we do it, but the roads have gotten, the chip and seal roads have got rough, and I don't know, use your expertise. How we could level those up to where when you put a chip, a coat chip on top of it, that they'd be a lot smoother than yeah. falling into every wrinkle or roughness there is. What I like to do, it, it takes, you have to do two coats if you do it. Go over top with the dead straight and then roll it in and yeah. then chip it and then chip it again. Yeah, that is the best way, that, but limited resources, there's a lot of roads I'm just going to put one coat on it because I've got so many roads to do. And uh, but I was hoping just in certain spots we could, and we may do that. Just level up that particular spot, yeah. and the rest of it will just have to have to do. All of it don't have to be, you know, like some of them done up in your area last yeah. year. We've done one cold, and in some areas had to be too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and while I'm talking, about, just got Matthews Lane is the worst one, and it's it's it yeah, it's it's in horrible shape and. But I talked to Dennis, and he was going to speak with you about getting some rock. At least get rock in the potholes. It won't stay, but it may suffice till we get it 
Put a greater effort tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, I've got Appreciate a complaint it. on that from the school bus people. Yeah. Got to. Yeah, and it's not very wide either. And that's what eventually we're going to run into more and more people as they build out there, more and more traffic, and a narrow road. So, <laughs> but. Um, uh, there's a motion and a second on the floor. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, Larry Morphew. Uh, Waterline may thing. Go ahead and uh, make that motion. I would like and then to make a motion to move memory lane. It's two tenths up the top of the list, and if everything is ready to go on it, and there's some people wanting to move up up there when they get water. Yeah, and it's six thousand dollars or less. And I second the motion. Mm -hmm. and that's to extend the line. Is that right? Actually, to run that, that road don't have one at all on there. And there's there's a couple houses already, and then there's at least two more will build. How many people do you think so? I can't even have one. Not very many. Not very many now. Not now. Joe don't have. By the way, Larry, I want yeah. to I want to explain this to you. This is already pit. That one's already peeled out. I mean, yeah. it's already going to go. Yes. Yeah. Uh, any discussion? How much? I mean, being on roll call. Okay. That don't have one? Johnston? Yes. Be, yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Probably down. Mark. In Joe's. Yes. Yeah. David, on this list, the here, most is of there us, a. I'd say 99% so of the border district. Already completed and. Is done. Possibility of getting help on aid. You know, they've been put on there um, years and years ago. Those, those were put on there before I came, but the thing was, in case. The landfill made a whole bunch of money and we had it to spare. This was to replace basically everything that the Centertown uh, Water District had spent. And some of it was actually, uh, quite a bit of it was actually even grant money. This would reimburse the city of Centertown if we ever got into a lot of money. Uh, that was, the, and, and of course this has already been on there ever since I've been here. But I was at the court meeting whenever Judge Jones brought that up. He and uh, Robinson. Somebody said added in 2014, but uh, uh oh, I, I, I don't think that's right. That was, uh, we must have just. That's not right. They was here when I got here. This already. That, that yeah, we must have got the date wrong, or we must have reprioritized it and got that on there or something, because they were on the list when I came. Shame, Joe and his dad can't get water. Can we go through this list sometime and, or, and see which ones are still new projects to do to add lines? Okay. We'll, we'll research it, and each of y'all can ask in your districts. And uh, at 4 o'clock on the, uh, April the what? Next court meeting. Nine. Ninth. Yeah. On April the 9th at 4 o'clock we'll have a water line committee meeting uh, in the uh, fiscal courtroom 4 o'clock. Yeah. And each one of you take your copy of that and you can look at it. And Larry, more of you, we've got one more in your district that for some reason we haven't got on here yet because we're going to insist Walt get us the price on it. And it'll be pretty similar to the one we just done. Which one is it? Just? The one that lady you keep you asked me about. Annabelle. Annabelle. We've been working on that for. Well, we this just is the fifth year. Yeah, we just now got it cleared. We got the road taken in. It had to be done before the water company. Looked right. At, People we got, signed their property. Over, signed it. We got the road in. It's taken into the system, so he can build it on the road right away now. Okay. Water line. So we'll look at that between now and then. Uh, any other committee reports? Did any other committees meet this month? Right after that water line meeting, can we go right into a road meeting? Yes. Yeah. So we shouldn't take long for that. Okay. Yeah, I'll do. That's fine. We can do both. Uh, okay. No other committee reports. Let's go to uh, Sam Small. I have nothing like this. Joe. So, all seriousness, when, when do we think we're going to get the spray truck? I thought you said it was there waiting. Oh, I'm sorry. It's already gone. 
No, I'm like the I'm other truck was at the stake. Which one are you talking about? The other truck. Oh, okay. So, because I, I believe in April we need to be getting this spray. So a lot of that stuff you got to get down. Yeah. When Johnson grass is not yeah. As out. soon as possible, we want to get it. Yeah. Otherwise, no, we'll no that's the one that's ready, right, Joe? It's supposed to be like a, the one they're going to pick up in Florida. That's already. No, it's not. He just said it wasn't right. ready. The dump trucks run ready. That one's not ready. Spray truck's not ready. Yeah. As soon as it gets, that's one of ones y'all go get. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's, they've got some out. We need to check into that. Yeah. Did you say we shouldn't make a motion? I'll look into it. Did you say we Keith, make a how do we how do we pin them down? You know, this is not the first rodeo that. we've run into where we buy a truck and it just they just you prolong it and prolong it and prolong it. Well, I think we need to do I that. We, one thing, Larry, that probably helped us, might help on this one, we didn't do it through state contract because the state contract, the way I understand it, they're going to do all the states first and then do the county. Yeah. So, you know, they're going to they're going to have it all exactly what the state orders, but we'll be one of the last ones to get it by the time that fleet is still out. Yeah. yeah, my only concern was it just... It uh, here, I yeah, I know how... How sometimes companies can drag their feet, and and we don't need to be dragging, as Joe and Judge alluded to earlier. We need to be out there when when the Johnson grass is ready to spray. Yep, we're ready. And we'll announce that uh, we'd advertise for a dump truck as well, and there were no bids on it. Man could hold his money, part of the money, until he, you know, everything comes. I think that would be a good idea if you say, you know, uh, for every day you go over, and, and businesses do this all the time. And, in fact, when federal and state let out bids, if you go over the certain dates, you have to pay a penalty. So we need to have a little penalty on anything after whatever you think suffice, six weeks or whatever. So I don't know how we'd do that, but that's what needs to be done. Maybe even get Justin to write up something to that fax him a copy of it and say this is where we're at. Okay. okay. Well, uh, that's that's what we'll work on. Uh, did you have anything else, Joe? Uh, Okay, Larry? No. Larry? No. Justin? No, Justin. Does anyone in the public have anything for the good of the body? We got a gentleman and his wife here, and they want to address, and they've talked to you earlier, Judge. Yes. But just kind of wonder, uh, tell if you don't care, his. come up and tell us a little bit about it and address the court, and we'll try to do any do anything we can, And but our hands may be tied to I've a certain I've already talked to the judge and Larry some, and then, like I told the judge, I got a call from... Uh, uh, this Charles and he told me uh, I got with him he got the coordinates I told him about where it was he was going to contact the core engineers and he did he you know seemed to think that maybe we'll get something out of them uh, I don't know because I talked to them six months ago and they actually referred me to my son at the uh, natural resources and I said hey I said they ain't got any money but anyway, it's a it's a bad long jam. But I understand they're, you know, it's yeah. They're, well, they're every they're they're everywhere, and I would just what like the, any what, help we can to get it yes. secure. What Charlie contacted the Corps about? We have to get get permission if it damn well, the whole a river up. We, yeah. Yeah. So he's yeah. he's working damn on that end to get permission oh. to do it when we do find the money. Yeah. Well, like I say, it's located. And you may want to explain. Uh, it's. Uh, on the other end of the county, uh, near that, not too far from that new bridge on Cane Ford Road, not too right. far down river from Cane Ford Road. Yeah, and it's over Rough River. Yeah, it's over Rough it's River, a, and also yeah, uh, no, it's not Beavers. It's, years ago, Frank Maiden had one. I think they took the timber, and, some and I mean he lost a couple acres of ground, but we, we did get they finally got it fixed. We, we got the grants through what you, yeah. where your son works through them. Yeah. They, they yeah. found the money. And then they done it through the name of the county. We yeah. we did all that, and we yeah. took the bids and got it taken out. Yeah. But that was a five year process, probably. It was a long time. It, it, exactly. I hope this doesn't no, drag on for five yeah. years. And I, if we can justify it, we'll look and see if it's threatening a road. Yeah. And see if we can apply for it that way. Yeah. Well, I appreciate anything you can do yeah. because uh, uh, it's it, it's causing more damage all the time. Yes. Yeah. You know, so.
Judge, Judge, you think a letter from the court would give any credence to it? Does maybe getting a little money from one of the. We can do it. We can write one from off to the Salt Conservation Service, which is the ones that did it. Then that's when Dan Porter was still yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, would would you care that. to? Uh, I'd be glad. You, to. And, you and Miranda draft a letter. We'd on, be glad to on our behalf as well as his, and uh, yes, and see if maybe maybe some good will come out of it. And I'll get with Charlie and get the coordinates on it so we can tell them in the letter exactly where it's at. <coughs> and send them a map and everything. Yes. The reason Dundee is a, a rough creek is staying down there around Narrows is, is staying up all the time. I mean, the water, even though the water goes down, part of it's not going down. It's just. Oh yeah, just like in his case, Helen, the the dam will continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and we don't have any good answers for him. But uh, somebody, the Corps of Engineers, tells you what you can do near a river, but yet they don't. When a problem arises, they they uh, turn tail and run. Mm -hmm. So, well, I re I really thought as far as the Corps, I, I remember hearing a little bit about making it a, a navigable waterway, you know, and trails and everything like that. So I would have thought. That would have pinned them down, you know, if navigable waterway, they're yeah. responsible for well, it. Well, it's a navigable by Cadeau, and they'll have to get out and drag it around that thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, that's and, right. And if that, uh, if that dam stays there long enough, you'll have a road around it, but the water will cut around yes, it. Yes, so. that's right. Yeah. Well, I... It'll, uh, it'll change its course. That's right. I, I observed uh, that other one, and it, that was, that was un it just got unbelievably yeah. large. Unbelievably large, and if if it could be fixed now, it would not be as costly. Absolutely, yep. to get it fixed. You're absolutely right. And I I would be willing to, you know, if they could just get it out of the river, we could take care of it from there. We've already worked on it some, but yeah. it's just getting too big on us. So. Uh, I want to personally see that in the next few days. Would you be willing to go with me look at it? Yeah, certainly. We're going to look at take pictures in addition to Charlie's maps. Okay. It was saying and uh, and take okay. it. Okay. Sometimes we'll write that letter. Somebody can, we we've got a gate and we keep it locked. So if someone could contact me, you know, yeah. I'd gladly. We probably have to go by Gator now because okay. it's been awfully wet. But we can get back there. Okay. Yeah, if you'll give the call Miranda at forty four two nine eight forty four hundred and give you your phone number, we'll okay. get in contact with you before we okay. go up so we can let us in. Okay. Well, thank you very okay. much. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. Does anyone else have anything for the good of the body? If not, we're going to call this a meeting adjourned.